Welcome to Manjala Devi Murugesan Software Training Center. In this, in this video, we are going to see how to do heating and cooling load calculation using Revit 2022. Okay, let us go on into the video. Just subject, just I am opening Revit 2022. Already I have linked my project. Okay, just using insert link my project and pinned my project and also enabled room bounding. Okay, now what I am going to do is just first I am going to set my space. Okay, go for space, select 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Either you can use place automatically, place spaces automatically. Okay, but it will go for some other name. So just I am using this method okay so for other than one two three four i am going to set others as a uncondition okay so just go for energy analysis condition type as a unconditioned so others also unconditioned five six seven unconditioned eight also unconditioned and 9, of course, 9 also, and condition, okay? Because I don't want to do complicated system. First, we need to understand the system. That's why we're going for simplified system, okay? First, in analysis, okay? In the energy optimization, you can see location. This is added in 2020. Actually, this in, uh, location um, create a um, energy model. Everything you can see in previous versions. But some of the, those we need to go online and then only we can do. But here we can directly calculate. Okay. So go for location. Just I am going to type my location as a Trichy. Enter. Just don't change anything. Okay. Go for default location only. Click OK. Okay. Then go for system zone click system zone and actually if you want you can draw as anything like this but i don't want to do like that okay as a single system just i'm going to draw each and every space as a separate zone so just i'm going to draw a line like this zone one accept Go for modify, select another zone, zone 2, change the name to zone 2, next, go for space 3, okay, change the, change the name to zone 3, accept, then likewise, 4, change to 4, accept okay now we have done location system zone we allotted and specified what are these system zones okay here we can see zone equipment now, right now we don't have any zone equipment so we cannot allot anything okay just i go for next select create energy model so it will ask for some warning okay create energy model may take considerable time you are able to create the energy analytical model you are able to create this may take considerable time during which revit will not be accessible what do you want to do just select create energy model since this is a simple model you can easily done okay if you are going for complicated model it will be somewhat tougher okay so you can rotate and see okay actually see this one we didn't make condition but here we can see single spaces divided into two energetical model here our system is only single okay so no need to worry about that now go for system browser if system browser is not enabled okay right click browser system browser enable that okay then go for system now we can see analytical system okay if you didn't enable analytical system okay 
this one will not be enabled okay you, you cannot see if you want to delete the energy model you can use this tool to delete your energy model so i'm just i'm going for analytical surface now we can see four tools okay just what i'm going to i am this one is nothing just auto fill columns i don't want to use this we will be using this out of this i'm not going to use this also add air system because i'm going to use only add water loop system here you can add zone equipment before adding zone equipment so actually this is what, what asking okay just if you go for uh, your zone okay you can see zone equipment we need to create our zone equipment then only it will be possible okay before creating zone equipment just i am going for add water loop so first i am going to add chilled water one and loop type chilled water so chiller type go for air cold only if you want to go for water cold it will be little bit complicated right now no don't try this so just go for cold water then once again create another hot water for hot water one so select it here that's a hot water now go for zone equipment okay add zone equipment here you can give zone equipment any name okay or you can leave it as it is so equipment type there are so many equipment types okay here just i am going to use radi radian panel which is simpler so behavior one per space okay that one heating coil already what we have created hot water just go for hot water heat water heating water heating hot water loop so already we selected hw1 then like that cooling coil chilled water we already selected cw1 okay we almost done everything now select these zones each and everything individually you can change or you shift, click shift and select all the zone and change to zone equipment now our system is ready for analysis okay just to go for next step go for system analysis purposely only i am doing add um, air system okay at starting it will create some problem first we need to understand what is this that's why we didn't add that later on we in another video i will put about that okay so system analysis so it will ask what do you want annual building energy simulation or uh, hvac system loading and loads and sizing i want to do that only if you want to change the report path you can change okay just if you want to where do you want to change your uh, report path just click if you want to add in desktop just desktop report open okay sorry it may be just i need to uh, type enter thing just instead of that i will go for default location only click okay just run analysis now you can see the right side down under okay your system analysis calculating in the background okay now go for project browser down under report you can see this reports so calculating let us wait it may take some time now report is ready you can see okay here system analysis completed project browser reports analysis report analysis report okay and other you can see so here we can see cooling heating what cooling load we need what heating load we need okay so here you can see zone equipment 1 okay automatically it will create zone equipment 1 2 3 4 based on our spaces okay here you can see okay see here my unit let see capacity per floor area floor area capacity outdoor air percentage air flow per floor area what is this okay everything you can see just if you want you can just system load from summary no system from because we didn't go and give any air system okay in design psychometrics you can see some graph dry bulb temperature versus humidity and bulb ratio sorry humidity ratio 
okay under this you can see time of peak what is the time of peak atmospheric what is atmospheric pressure zone space sensible load cooling air flow rate Co sorry coil air flow rate this is our liter per second okay based on this only you need to they um, what you need to do your place your air terminals okay cooling air flow rate based on this you can place your air terminals this is outer air flow rate how much outer air you not pay percentage outer area everything it will show don't worry about this but we need this for zone equipment 2 that is uh, space 2 so if you can want you can select for space 1 we need this this is the value space 3 this is the value okay and space 4 okay and here you can see what is this okay zone what is a dry bulb temperature wet bulb temperature return everything etc some details will be there but what we need is coil air flow rate okay this way only we are going to calculate our cooling and heating load calculation using Revit 2022 okay Okay, I think you understood how it, how to cal do calculation using Revit 2022. Okay, now if you have any doubts, just you can uh, put in comment or you can WhatsApp to me. I have given um, my WhatsApp number is given in description. Also, we are giving training, online training and offline training. Okay, for the subjects what I have given in description and in the end slide you can see what are the courses we are giving. Okay go for latest video to check what we are having or added any new courses for that you need to check latest video okay if you have any doubts please feel free to contact me and whatsapp number is given in the description okay thank you